Gerald Voidolf. And someone who got rogue repicked into undead. Gnome, demon. A demon will be uh, dominating the mid lane here. I hope I'm not in front of him. Let's have a look at some of the bonuses. I know them pretty well. It's just about remembering them. I tried this one once and I believe it was pretty, pretty good. Um, let's have a look at this. Battle Mage is my vanilla bonus. That's usually what I go for. It seems to always be quite nice. Um, I think I'm going to go for the cleave damage. <clears throat> we're against gnomes in the mid lane, and of course we're against the demon rays in the mid lane. So that's not very good. He's definitely going to be coming for us in the mid lane. That much I know for a fact. But I do want to claim the gold mine before anything else, because... Because red is definitely also going to be going for the side lanes. And undead is 100% guaranteed going to go for the side lane. So, I don't know. I feel like he's all already uh, having somewhat control over the mid lane. Purple, that is. So I'm not even going to bother. We're going to get that gold mine. And then I think we'll try to... Do some unit upgrades. And then we'll take it from there. How unlucky is it though that I'm against the demon race in the mid lane? It's just really unlucky. Alright. Got one of the side lanes. Let's see what the play is in the mid lane here. He's definitely going to go for the mid lane. Purple. And now surprisingly, I don't know if that's a... No, okay. I was thinking that, that the Meccano, Meccano Striders are the upgraded, um, you know, the T2 units, but it's they're not. And none of them are going for the mid lane. You know, it is what it is. We're gonna get pushed in here. We we are gonna have to go for the mid lane. Uh, I'm gonna save for that. Now, I think. Blue went for the uh, magic, which is the best upgrade on Undead. So he's gonna be pushing us in. Most likely. Let's see what he does, though. Purple is already, uh... Seems like he's already pushing into me here. So... And... Red went for the other side lane. Hopefully blue is not gonna go for us in, in, in our side lane just yet. He's already pushing me in. Gonna upgrade now. So we should be fine. Put one out. Uh, I don't really want to use my spell here. I think we're going to be good. I think we'll be fine. And then I'm probably going to save. Yeah. So blue went T to either in my lane or in his own. If he went T2 in my lane, he's guaranteed to claim both of the buildings. If not, then I will get the buildings. And it seems like he went for the other lane. That's what it seems like. So, I'm gonna get a push here soon. Hopefully. And then we'll claim both of the buildings if uh, everything goes well.
We're not that far behind, but... I'm gonna need some more upgrades. I'm gonna wait a little bit. There we go. Some more of a single one. I do kind of want to use the magic, but meh. I don't think it's necessary. Oh no, he got both buildings? That's really unlucky. Oh well. At least now we should be safe for another good while. Yeah, he got both buildings. And he got both buildings in all the lanes, by the way. So, well played by him. I suppose. Purple lost his left side barracks to blue. <laughs> How? It's because of the skeletons. Maybe he'll lead now, but blue is definitely uh, rather ahead in the uh, score department. Hmm. And uh, he is going to scale almost as well as we will. Probably as good. We'll get that masonry to level one. That'll be good. Since we have a push in all lanes, we can afford to do that. And he left. So now I don't have to deal with him in the mid lane at the very least. Uh, Blue went for the mid lane as well, so that's going to be my competition, I think. I do want this shrine very soon so that we can get the Void Arcanist. Because there's a lot of spells that will be cast. Um... There, oh, we've got a lot of them there, but there's another wave coming in the moment. I think I'm going to save for the shrine. I really want that. Hold on. Hopefully this will do it. Yeah. Goody. That's just about enough. And we're pushing in towards blue here. Which is fine by me. They can play it out in the mid lane. We only really have to worry about the side lanes now. He is getting stronger, huh? Guess we need some more unit attack rate. Get the Void Arcanists. Maybe we'll use a bit more, a bit more magic there. They have a lot of defense after all. I'm gonna get some more armor in the meantime. We're actually pushing in towards blue here. His necropolis is still level level one, so we are a little bit ahead with the. Uh, try to get the other upgrades as well. Maybe the magic. Maybe we should go for the magic first. Get some additional ammo reduction. Get that out of the way. Alright. And then I'm going to save for the Void Arcanist, because that's when things... At level 2, when you get it to level 2, that's when things get interesting, because it gives uh, spellcasters uh, damage. 
every time they use a spell. So that's rather nice, but you look at how how far behind we are compared to blue. It's uh it's gonna be rough. No doubt it's gonna be rough. But um let's see. I think we can make one more upgrade since it's not going to be the timing is not going to be that good I don't think my towers will be able to reach nope worst timing it could possibly have been it is what it is get a bit more damage in the meantime and the question is whether I'm going to do it on the back line or the front line but obviously it's gonna have to be the front line. It's gonna have to be targeted there. And then another wave comes. Pretty bad timing. Let's see if that does it. Void implosion. One level. Good. That's how we want it. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Pretty decent for ourselves. Um, do we want some more armor? I'm gonna get this. One point into the Nether shield. And then I do want the illusion. The illusion upgrade. And then I think we can go for the the masonry. is pushing in. A pretty big wave there and he's maxing his attack damage. So it's probably good that we put a couple of points into the into our armor. Alright, now we'll aim for the masonry. There we go. And then one point into the uh, phantom image. I wonder if this affects undead, because they're not organic units, are they? They're undead, so it's probably not going to affect them. Hmm. Research finished. Pair that. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll be fine. Can go for the masonry. I think we can keep going for the masonry. Vorpal blades. Burns mana. And that affects e all units, I guess. All units with mana, anyway. Uh, he has two points into masonry. Not bad. Yeah, he's getting up there. Oof, I could get it now. I'm gonna aim for that masonry. Last level. Hopefully that'll do it. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to max the Void Arcanist or what we're going to do there. 
I'm gonna hold off on this as it only works on a Ganagun. This is pretty much not gonna work on anything this game. So might as well upgrade the Wobble Blades. Burn some mana maybe. Ah, this one too is good. Alright. Yeah, we are rather strong right now. Well, it seems like we maybe we might be able to push him in. At least it seems like we've stopped him in his tracks. Nice. Um, Wobble blades. I do want one point into this. So that we have in almost everything. Go for some more attack damage. Right. Maybe one point into the bounce. Shouldn't be too bad. Get some more attack damage. One more point. We've had control over the gold mine for a very long time. We might get it for one more round. Which would be nice. That is expensive, holy moly. And we'll just get the last point into the... Getting pushed in heavily here by uh, Blue, very, very quickly. Um, should save up some gold for now. To make sure that we can deal with it. thousand gold. Uh, Red's wave is not that big. Kind of stopped him in his tracks back there. I'll get the uh, Void Icanist in the meantime. Get that last level. And then we will uh, target the back of the line. Yeah. So there's a lot of units there. Get some more armor. Easy. Easily pushed out. Red sends in a hero. Um, good for him. I'm. I don't know if I should bother sending in a hero. If one of them T3'd the mid lane, perhaps it would be a. Uh, Decent idea. Right now, I'm just getting over the upgrades. Mm -hmm. More armor. I'm gonna look to get two points into into the void implosion. There we go. And Red didn't even push us in. He didn't get to do that. I think we're quite strong right now. 
I'll go for the last point into armor. Which is pretty expensive, to be fair. Hmm. This one only affects organic units as well. So there are two upgrades that are comple completely useless against the or two opponents. We're gonna research the nether shield for some more armor, some additional armor. And then a couple of points into the void tormenting. Um, and I think I'm straight up going to aim for the Meditation Shrine level 3. I could easily do that. No doubt. I do want to level up this up. And red went to you three on me. That's completely fine. I'll wait for him to push in. Okay, we maxed out the Void Arcanist. Great. Um, gonna keep going for this. Zabacopter. MK1. I'll just wait for Red to push in, instead of trying to contest him. I think we're gonna upgrade this immediately, the Nether Shield, to the uh, last level. And then we're pretty much done with the tower upgrades. I mean, there's still a lot, obviously, but... Well, they're coming in at the same time here. It's probably a good thing that I maxed out my uh, Sentry Tower damage. I can do it even further. Interesting. I guess I'll just do that and then we'll save. I should probably look to T3 all the lanes at this point and send in a hero in the mid lane. Because our units are really, really strong at the moment. Uh, Blue has not T3'd me yet. So I can wait with him, even though he is the stronger opponent right now. At least that's the way it feels. For them to come in. Uh, Blue is gonna have a pretty big wave coming in here. I don't know if I can get away with not using mana on Blue. Probably not. Uh, I'm gonna use it on Red though. And then we'll, uh, we'll T3 him. There we go. We're gonna need some more here. Send out a couple of units. It's okay though. I think we should be fine here. I 
All right, we T3 him. Now we're gonna T3 the mid lane. Maybe. I could also go for the side lanes. What am I gonna do here, boys? I think I'm gonna save for the Meditation Shrine and then maybe get the ultimate weapon. Okay, Red went T3 in the mid lane as well. So I am actually considering it. Blue went T3 in the mid lane too. Could send in a hero here. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Don't know if it, that was the wrong choice or, or what, but his hero is quite low. And then we can choose to wait to T3 in the mid lane. Maybe that's what we should do. Yeah, we T3 in the mid lane. It should give us some more feed. And we even killed his hero, that's perfect. Right. We have a pretty big push in all the lanes here. Blue uses his great defense spell. And if I can get the Meditation Shrine, I We'll have so much mana. That will be great. That will be wonderful. He even sends out a hero, does he? Maybe not. Maybe it's in the other lane. And this is actually good for me that red sends in a hero. Because then I'm not going to push in. I welcome that. Still T3. Okay. And blue went T3 on me. That's alright. We'll let him push in. He sends out a hero to mitigate the damage. Oh, they're taking... the spellcasters are taking so much damage. It's awesome. Alright, so we got the final level here. Question is... Can I afford to do this? I think I can. We're taking a chance on this one. Read the magic. Mm. They might be coming into me at almost the same time. Almost. And I feel like we can deal with red because we can easily redirect the, the damage. I think this is when I T3 him. Yeah. Blue even sent in a hero. Nice. This is a good game. This is a very good game, boys. Alright, the timing is good. The timing is great.
don't think I'm going to use mana here. Or maybe I will. Not entirely sure. Mm, is it necessary though? If I can get away with not using magic. I'm going to do it on blue instead. Void implosion. Gotta be careful here about what I do. I think I'll be fine. It's just about redirecting it all. Boom. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, did he tee for me? No. There we go. Then we redirect everything. That should do it. There we go. Easy peasy. And I think I'm gonna actually T4 him. Because I can. We don't want him to go to the late game. Oh, please. Please, mate. And after this, I want to get the uh, ultimate weapon, which is probably going to be Smite. Could go T4 in the mid lane as well. But I feel like special unit is uh, probably going to come out soon. We are dominating the field, I think. Shall we see this? Nah. I don't even want to see the score. We'll just leave it. Because uh, if my score is higher than theirs, then they probably will team up against me, but... They can probably feel the pressure at the moment. Alright. Yeah, he's, he's T3 in the Necropolis. Um, doing pretty well for himself up there. T3, T3. D3, they're just going for the upgrades. As am I. Mm. Should I go T4 here? Why not? Why the hell not? He sends out another hero. Which is fine by me. It's taking a lot of damage very quickly. To the last point into masonry. And then I guess. I guess we'll get the mana. Mana burn. Uh, it's only half against heroes, but still. Should be pretty good. We are pressuring him a lot right now. He is still T3 in the uh, bottom lane, so he's most likely going to get quite fed here. If um, if he's able to push it in, that is. His hero is losing a lot of HP. So there's that. I guess I'll just go one point into it, even though it's not going to affect pretty much any of the units. I suppose having one point into it isn't isn't too bad.
Yeah, single point. Glory to the Scourge. He sends in two heroes. Yuckers. And his hero does not seem like he's able to really push it in here. He's having a lot of trouble with that. One hero there? One hero there? Okay. So, one of his heroes went... Two of his heroes went to the bot lane. I feel really strong right now. I'm gonna go T4 over here as well. Now we have T4 on everything that we can. We're maxing out on the upgrades. Red still has not T3'd me. This is when it gets really interesting, boys. Sends in another hero. Keep upgrading my units. Um, okay, he did not see three me. Apparently. He's pushing into me, and that's a given when he has two heroes. So we'll just, um, I think we'll just wait it out. Let's see what happens. Last point into armor. Thank God I'm not lagging today. Gotta love survival chaos when it's this smooth. Did he go T4 on me? Yeah, he finally went T4 on me. That was about time. Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay. Wait, wait, no, please don't disconnect. Oh, God. No, I was gonna. Oh, come on. Please. Now it seems like I rage quit. Oh. I had that one in the bag, boys. For real. Man, that sucks. This is what I hate about Warcraft 3. You just disconnect every now and then and it's you you don't know when you're gonna disconnect. It just sometimes happens. Well I had that game in, in the back, boys. Thank you so much for watching. GG well played. I will see you in the next one.